Hello and welcome back to our Revit Architecture 2009 Fundamentals. We're talking about views and elevations in sections and I just want to uh, point out some settings in here, very important. Under settings, view tags, okay, callout tags, elevation tags, and section tags. These are the little symbols that get placed when you create a callout an elevation or a section and the little section bubble or elevation bubble or callout bubble that gets placed at each end of the elevations and sections and there's only one end on a callout so um, we're, we're going to start with the elevation tags okay callout and section are similar elevation are different and what we do here is we have a system family called elevation tag and inside there's only one type currently called elevation one and this is all the parameters the type parameters it's square uh, the text is inside the little arrow on the elevation symbol is at 45 degrees it's not filled you know all this different information color font and size and all that stuff so that's good let's duplicate this and let's call one elevation round so we're making a new type Okay, and that type of elevation is going to have a circle, it's going to have um, a 50 degree um, pointy uh, arrow, it will be filled, and the color is going to be, you know, orange, hit OK, okay, text, font, and etc. So that's a different type, so I hit OK. So then from there, now, when I go down to, uh, say, a level 1, Okay, and I'm going to draw a new uh, elevation, so I'll go to my view tab and say elevation. When I go to here, I'll notice that I have an elevation one is a new type. So inside of here, I'm going to go to the properties of that elevation and say edit, and I'm going to duplicate that and call this elevation round. And I know it seems like you're nesting stuff inside of the same thing. Um, and so that's a different type okay and now I can go in here and specify elevation round okay that's kinda confusing I know so that's why I did this lesson so that's been done hitting OK and OK so now if I place that elevation I'm getting a round symbol and if I go to place another elevation I can now switch and say elevation 1 which is a square one okay so it starts by going into settings view tags, elevation tags, and duplicating that one and giving it a new name. And then once you duplicate it, you take it and make the changes to that duplicate. Duplicate. Then you start the elevation and you go to the properties of that elevation and you edit that and duplicate that again and then nest the previous one into it. Okay, so it's kind of tricky. It took me a while to figure that one out. So there's a nice lesson for you on managing your elevation view tags.